this next match is the eight man extreme eliminator the winner is the last man standing eliminations only occur by pin for who falls count anywhere introducing first part of the super friends club side show slug here we go ladies and gentlemen the first of two matches in this particular episode was a pay-per-view broadcast it's eight nights green eliminator This map, because that triple threat is coming up in this broadcast. While we wait for Sideshow to slowly walk down to ringside. The reasons only known to him. Not in my book, anyway. <clears throat> Sorry for me, voice. You have a little bit of a cold, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bummer. It's a number two. One half of the main event. For seven, plus a big legend. Ten, time. Oh, looks for one of these. for that top singles title. Speaking of which... This man here... About to enter anyway. Ticket. 
Entrant number four is MMW's original innovator and creator. The man with a crippling influence one might say. After all these years, he still got it. Everything I've been trying to say. Has he got it in him? We'll find out this evening. The next end run show is the power of the tiger. Filled with tiger blood or just a winning attitude? He is the tiger warrior. She's not there, she has Charlie Sheen is. Made it. Ready? Engine 6 is another super friend, the menace to society that is super. Mongo. Man. Since the big brawl, in fact, but uh, maybe he's busy uh, and And finally, looking to reclaim some gold by beating the rest, the space base stand for him. Two, no. This man has been fairly present. No action, but uh, looking to climb the... Uh, Again, and the World Star Championship. This is giving him a chance with the big one, and so you know, why not? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the barrel's run. The chaos ensues. Forgive me if I miss some action here, but uh, I've only got two eyes. One guy and team up on the outside, Bernie James in. Kenny Redford, moonsaults off the top, missed. Sideshow takes on Kai in the ring, he didn't make a mic, attacking Super Mongo now. Now Bernie, the new furniture already. 
Kenny Lundgren in the front row. Jeremy sucking up the t neck. Knight pulls Mungo back inside. Tossed to the other side as well. Look at that moment there. Super friends in the ring. Super friends not really helping each other. Mongo on the outside. This is yes. Just a cacophony of violence. Kenny now with the Spotify Suplex on the outside. Breaker for Clive and Bernie misses the knee though. And the team being rough housed by Mongo. Mike pulling on Saito's arm and Just the entrance ramp. Tina. Even punches on the outside. One go. Kai takes down Bernie. Just slaps him. Takes out the ground. Kenny. Going to take that on one go on the outside. Mark continues to attack Saito. Saito will come on back then. Referee comes outside. Kenny attacks one round. And again, the flurry of punches back there from Kai. Ramp way there. Referee was the scene of the pinfall attempt. And the chaos is just the one referee in this match. More than that, I'm pretty sure. Broken now back inside. One goes for him, but the referee's not looking at see. One guy gets tossed by a teammate from Saito fighting back. Daisy's not heading that mile. Picks up a teammate from that. Uh, Nelson's slam attack and then tosses him across the ring like a back dog. Then he gets thrown on the ground outside. And now the super friends are tapping each other, no friends in this match, I guess. Discus punch to Super Mongo now. And Sancho Slob sends his so-called friend into the corner. But Mongo reverses that. Kenny is standing for Ring there and leaves camera angles so very confusing at times. Tunic on the outside, Mongo and Sideshow on the inside. A beautiful stolen suplex. Straight away in the body slamming. Wonder who's sucking Kenny on the outside. Maybe some blood. And Sancho goes for pinfall. Not quite. Going on the outside though. This is only need two referees. Hi. Who have been eliminated there? Second like referee. Pretty sure of that. Two referees never employed these days anywhere. I don't know. They don't have to they play more than two referees generally. I'm not in the same match. And that's where everyone gets knocked out. Ooh, and Kenny's got the underground in there. So with sleeper clutch maneuvering. Underground. 
Going bye bye, maybe. No. But if you can get a pin fall, yes. Wonderland is bye bye. No, you can't quite. Of course, pin falls only in this. There's a beautiful close line, and now Kermit gets a, almost a pin fall on the tie again. Is that because the referee's distracted? Oh, that's a beautiful moonsault from Super Mongo, man. I'm going to have to take the Mickey. But, you know, he's got some moves. It's tossed an outside, though, with his super friend. <laughs> and that's right now on the case. Back on the attack. Picks up Mongo and that's a play to that suplex. Now Kai goes to the top. Looking at Bernie. Flying punch. Bernie Thompson. Oh, top turn the foot. Knee to the face. Kenny and Wonderland back to fight in. Mike with a pinfall. Referee not in position though. Ooh. Wonderland. Getting slammed into the barricade. Seems fairly stable this barricade. Most best of two. Oh, Bernie just missed the uh, leg drop from the top rope right there. You watch most wrestling shows and that kind of barricade sort of crumbles to tell. I don't know they go to the floor. Lots of submissions. Wearing down the phone, which is not a bad idea, I guess. Ooh, and there's a knee on the floor. One round with a pin and where the the referee on the other side team told him. And the Spanish announced team there. Or an team, I should say. He speaks multiple languages. But that's a bit of a broken run from one girl in there. He's just proving me that he can do stuff. The earlier three counts. Mike has his burn to the floor and goes for pin four. Already though. Kai right, attacking Wonderland. Side to attacking Kenny. Tina and Mongo in the ring right now. Then he gets slammed into the barricade. And he tossed into the ring steps. Not got a one count. The referee in the ring. Ready to miss it. Ooh, and there's the Beach break from Tina. Right, just laying into Bernie. No oh, we've lost there. No oh, rivalries. 2010s. Can I go for a pin fall? Two count only on Tina. Can I straight back to the offense? Get grabbed by one blind and picked up. Spots that. Super mood over that fourth to me, but it was worse than I think. Ooh, and there's a violent problem on the outside by Super Mom, uh, no Saito Slob, sorry. The referee didn't quite see it, but uh, yeah, that would have been a three counts, I'm not sure, yes. Right to down for longer than three there. Referee. We're able to do the job properly. Well, that's a Spanish flag from Super Mongo now. Really? Just trying to impress me. Oh, I'm going get booted off the apron. All the referees have been chucked in the corner. Chaos will only see you, there'll be no count in the book. He's up and about. Not quite ready for Kenny's three count there. Will he count this one? Whoa! And it kicks out. Tina on the attack. Backwards cartwheel, tight pinfall maneuver. 
Super Mongo Man is eliminated. Super Mongo Man, at least anyway, in this match. Info number one, but Bernie attacks T-neck. Saito with a pin in the corner there. Kenny able to kick out. Bernie attacking T-neck. Attack man. Made the first pin, that's another back strategy. Lindelang gets Kai's knee in his face. Knight just bounced Bernie. Saito gets tossed by Kenny. Kai just goes double knees to Lindelang's back. Violent for some of them. Lindelang gets him in a pin. Sure, kind of not. He's not planning on that, but he's able to kick out. Saito sends Bernie Kavir in the car. That's just over. Right, guys. Seen it. And that's a meta clutch. Who he uses so effectively, and he goes for pin for the outside. Yeah. is eliminated. Tinek looking groggy. Underland now. Attacks Mike. And the balance continues in the manner which it started. Kenny with Bernie and the chokehold there. Both illegal because there's nothing to be done. Up in full. Bernie kicks out at the last second there. Referee's hand was coming down. One man on the outside, pinning Mike. Ooh, and two count only. Oh my god! Bernie just tossed out the game there by Kenny. Powerbomb type move there. Is and the referee not paying attention. Can't pin Wonderland yet. The innovator of violence, the innovator of MMW. Looking good in this match. Can you the pin on Bernie? Did he get it? Kai and Sideshow duking it out the corner there. Lily of fists and knees with Saito dazed. Now Bernie gets Kenny and the single leg great iron. Kai and Wonderland take out the referee. Well, that's different. <coughs> Wonderland now with that Greenland sleeper. Bernie. He's eliminated. Oh, I wish to think Kai, but Bernie's stopping that for some reason. Now, Kai stomp on a mud hole in Saito's slob. Kai, oh, so Bernie with a pinfall on one ground. Doesn't get it. Saito with that four-way standing mic. Saito with the attack on both sides. Face with his fist versus that. Oh, and with a pinfall attempt. Two count only. Nine. Attacks Mike. Bernie gets just the outside. Saito's dazed on the outside now. And we have got that four. Yes. Violent reversal by Bernie. Snap suplex and try to the top now. Stomp on heavy metal mic in the middle of the ring. Could be dangerous. Bernie now with those chops. The one on the outside. Oh, and there's the 
Jordan flying to the back of the head. Moonsault from the rope there. Balance of Dragon Suplex. And Bernie to the underground with a two count only. Kai on heading up Mike. Kai gets picked up and slammed on his back. Good to see you, Saito Slob. Saito Slob doing quite well in this match. Now, Bernie with that trifecta of uh, suplexes, heavy metal might, with that uh, metal touch. Sleeper hold. Saito to tap in, but there's no submissions in this match. And he pins Wonderland. One hand, and he's eliminated. to get it. Side shows so low. He's eliminated. Three men left. Takes a breather. Kai works on Bernie. To attack the, the Tiger Warrior. Burning this down. Kai fighting back there. Helps. The trained engine top talent. Trainer, whatever you want to call him. And he misses the knee to the face. Right, over to the weapon. Dragon skews Kai up the canvas. In effect, really. Referee clearly incensed by the attack on him. A befuddle. One of the two, and I think now might maybe busted wide open. Try that springboard to that kick to the move there. Bernie steering sort of in the corner there. Right, screen and that's the GTS. It's not enough. Mike able to kick out at the last second. Time at top but Bernie with different plans. Tosses into the canvas. Throws him over the Turn back to that. Now, takes him down in that so, cross face type maneuver. All three men now on the outside. Kai is tapping, but yes, there's no submissions. Good boot from Mike for Happy Sacks. Then he makes the pin fall. Tiger one. He's eliminated. Fighting by the foreign language table. Ooh. And he gets slammed into the table there. And a headbutt takes him down to the arena floor. Mike has just been dominant in this match. Tosses in from one to the other. To the beginning of the end, ladies and gentlemen. Final great throttle there. Yeah. Ooh, one more. Belly to back. Straight forward, pinfall attempt. Bernie Thompson is eliminated. Well, that was excitement for some of my Let's look at some of these replays. I'm sure there'll be plenty to look at. I mean, there was no glory of violence. Saito looking good in the early stages. Kenny and Mongolan. War of attrition. Even Bernie attacking Kai quite often. 
in the early stage of this match. Great that pinfall, but yeah, the referee was in position to pick it up. Then here we go, yes, this is the first elimination occurred here. Mongo went. Short work team it. Let's go have a look, show what the police calling it. And into the pinfall because he has to win the submissions. There's pinfalls. Who get dominance in this? Bernie fared quite well. Managed to take out the uh, Tag, well, tag team Nemesis Kenny Tai with that single leg great line and pinfall combination. Yeah, and then you know you did the middle one here. If you were giving it to the people that eliminated the most people, I'd say Bernie and Mike on level pegging. a piece, I believe. Oh no, no, maybe Mike did it. Mike took outside too, didn't he? But yes, Mike has three on Bernie's two, but no, even so, Bernie has impressed me this evening. When you look at the replay, the numbers stack up. And then yes, Mike eliminated Bernie, so that gives Mike four. Bernie, obviously, well played. Here is your winner, and gifted a unified championship shot. The master of the metal hammer. Heavy, metal, Mike. For a championship opportunity, let's get on with the next and see you might have face it. This is your MMW Unified Championship Triple Threat Extreme European Rules Match. The winner is the person scoring two out of three falls first. Extreme rules also apply, so any hardware left is acceptable. Coming to ringside first, the leader of the hate society, Santin, fair and hate. You want another have a perfect bump and circumstance in this, great into this match. I guess it's fairly straightforward. Triple threat, European rules, weapons in play. Two out of three falls. First to two out of three. Wins this match. And the uh, MMW Unified Championship. This man who stands the championship titles, looking to get back to that level of competition in this uh, era of MMW, clearly. His opponent, representing Federation trusted. Online, the inspiration so, for the interactive generation, the man they call him, Dickie. Same can be said for this one. So, oh, careful what to say about Matthews. The management likes to appease him. But yes, he's in this 
title fight because I guess you know he's been fighting well recently. And yeah, what's going to be behind this product? I've seen that repeat as well. These two men. Face this man. This title. And finally, the current MMW Unified Champion. The darkest resources of the cosmos. The dark world. Me. Secret. to retain this evening. Problem lies in the fact that it's a triple threat. Now with two falls required a piece. Sometimes all of those factors just don't add up. Three men now ready. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the call for the bell. And Matt gets tossed to the outside by Santin. Luke goes to taunt and Santin just straight on the uh, offence, but Santin gets tossed to the outside by uh, Luke Siffer. And now Luke looking for Matt Spooky. Matt with those vicious chops to the face. Gets blocked by the headbutt. Luke in control of the inspiration for the interactive generation or whatever the hell she said. They now with Santin, but Santin able to reverse that hold. Drop Luke on his uh, back. Short arm clothesline there, takes Luke to the canvas. Got a my suplex, keeps the dark rub down. And dazed, and now Santin able to just concentrate on that. Tosses him on the ropes. And there's that whoopee cushion type manoeuvre. And a knee to the face. Boots. Now he goes to the cross face type mover. Pinfalls or submissions, I believe. Don't count me on that, but uh, Luke now back on the offensive. Going after Santin. And our double team type maneuver. We saw that in the last match against the referee. The referee probably will keep his distance in this match. Not wanting that to happen again. Luke able to break out of the match's hold, but Matt versus that one. It's caught by Santin. It's an elbow drop to the kidney from Luke, who feels the need to taunt. Santin. Lays into Matt Dickey on the canvas there. Santin looking very strong right now. Young on fumes maybe. Yeah. 
goal indicator was flashing red there. No idea what that means. But maybe it means that uh, Luke should be careful. Front suplex in the dark world. Stomps to the chest. Keeping the current champion down and now back to keep. Going for Thunder first. And nothing more from the Master of uh, Federation Hardcore. Oh, but he gets tossed down by Santin. Taunting too many, maybe she should have gone with the chair shots. Looking to break the hold, yes, he manages to do so. Luke just let these two duke it out in the corner. Ooh, that's a bad one, but Matt blocks that maneuver from Luke, though. Now Matt. In that arm twist. That. Oh, and there's that back chop with the kick. Matt Dickey looking quite handy. Goes for a pinball tent. Santin breaks it up. Doesn't have the advantage. In the corner there, looking to utilise it maybe. Oh! Santin gets the chair to the head. Luke blocking that defence of that uh, sidewalk slam there. Now Santin just attacking Luke's head with his knees violently, like a man trying to fight off a rabid dog. Oh, and there's that uh, rope shot. Keeping Luke Days. Goes for the power bomb pin. Luke manages to kick out just in time. Now Santin looking for another attempt. But Luke blocks it once more. Rolls to the outside. Looking for Plunder under the ring. Gets the chair. Smacks Anton on his way out. And then attacks Matt Dickey as well. Leg drop to the leader of the Hate Society. Now Matt involved in the middle of these two. Are you looking for some? Double the fence there with that choke slam. I'm sure the allegiances will be formed, can be formed, but uh, now Santin looking for the heavy artillery. Brings the table into play while Luke goes to the top rope. An old school manoeuvre sends Matt to canvas. Santin with boots, stops. Luke now looking for something here. Going for a tombstone maybe. In the corner, I think. It's busted Santin open. Oh! Nearly the first full there. The current champion. Not quite good enough. Now, it's not on the ropes there. By Matt Dickey. Oh, that's a violent headbutt. Now mounted punches to keep the champion on his uh, back on the canvas. Santin just watching things go ahead, but Matt now. He's watching the last kicker. Takes on Santin with that violent arm wrench. Oh, and there's the bookend type move there. by Luke. The arm bar. Now stomps. Go 
both of these men have a score of history. They don't like each other much. Did they uh, once meet once a member of Illuminatus? Almost, I think. But, uh, the brain is not what it used to be. I may be talking crap, but uh, I'm sure. There was it, some sort of inference at one point, back in the day. Now, clearly, Luke looking for the first fall, but didn't quite get it again. Santin Fahrenheit, even with blood flowing from his face, still able to uh, make the save of himself. Elbow drop there. Mounted punches for Makiki. You can get Matt's t shirts on Pro Wrestling Tees if you can believe that. I'm sure we'll be working some sort of deal out from MW, maybe. Could he be? Should he be? Oh, and there's a violent body slam. Short spinning elbow drop. And now Luke picks up a table. Sets it. There'll be no dinner from that. Going on that. Just be hard bodies. Setting Matt for something here. But Matt able to lock it. Again, Samson gets into the table. Matt goes to the outside. Luke follows in. Samson with more fumble gets in the chair. Luke, with his violent fists, takes the hate society guy down. Backbreaker there. Now Luke is trying to choke out Santin. Looking for something here, looking for another tombstone maybe. Oh, that was violence. Just missed the table. And that breaks the count too. No one wants to Not be the first man to have the pin for in his pocket. Who picks up Matt? Looking to drop him somewhere. Matt, too little, too late. And I think Matt just busted uh, Luke open with that elbow. Santin now hands Luke out to dry. Moves out to Matt. Matt. Lock that offence. A dragon screw takes Matt down to the canvas. And there's the whippy pushing in. It's just a crimson mask on the right half of Santin's face. Oh, and he sends Lane to a table. Two count only. We could have seen. in there, making headway at the first ball, went for a T-bone suplex or something there in there, Lane, Luke Torrey now with a shovel, right Torrey fitting in that uh, Reaper style tire he wears. She was very adept with the shovel. Falls count anywhere. I'm looking for on the outside. Ooh. Doesn't quite make it. He picks up that and tosses him to the arena floor. Tried to pick him up again, but not able to fight his way out of both that and Santin's attacks. 
Saturn tosses Matt into the ring and sends Luke inside as well. And now Matt picks up the Dark Lord, takes him down into the Crippler. This would count. Santon breaks that with that big boot. Size 15. Santon now looking to take down Matt. Tosses him in that butterfly suplex. It's too much for Matt. Matt rolls the outside and now Santon's setting Luke up against another table. Boom! The Dark Lord is introduced to the hardware. But he comes back. Oh my god. It's this man. In the league. Or the devil. Or whatever. Supernatural powers they have these people. What? Santin kicks out two. How? How is he? Blocks those kicks. Dragon School takes Luke down, but Luke blocks the holding DDT Santin to her own to the table. Santin with Mighty no Dragon School, Matt Dickey on the outside. Raising the crowd's energy, comes back in, takes down Santin. Picks him back up again, walks into the ropes, Santin attacks back. The power bomb the river there. The hate bomb. Vicious stomps to the chest. That's going to be feeling fatigued right now. Who picks up on the outside there? Santin looking for that power bomb. Trifecta. Boom. Goes for a pin. He breaks it up. This is the problem. In a three-way match or a multi-man match, obviously. With this magnitude. Oh, that's like a violent corkscrew elbow drop again. No one wants to let anyone make that first pinfall attempt. Santon gets tossed into the turnbuckle. Matt, with that corner clothesline. Santon falls on those table remnants. Shot to her back from Luke, kick to the front. Just minks all the debris. Santon turns it round. Stomps on the leg, stomps on the foot. Picks up Matt Dickey. Into the power bomb. Hate Jack. Santon Fairman Hate. Scores his first decision by pinfall. decision and now the other two need to catch up and Matt's still coming back Santa now with another car bomb attempt on the table and then Matt able to lock it that's probably a good thing slammed on that broken table wouldn't be a good thing here's the Tower of London into the pinfall. He breaks it up at the last second and now Matt's angry. Gets picked up by Luke. Now to dry on the top of the top rope there. Luke now looking for more plunder. 
Gets a kendo stick, which is something now. Attacks Matt Dickey. It's not the best place to be when you one fall down in this contest. But he's happy to just stay there, apparently. Santin just attacking that with those knees. Left and right. Oh, and he missed the last one. Now back up on his feet. Santin with a suplex attempt that Matt broke out of it. Days in Santin Fahrenheit. There's the chop. Front kick. Luke just choosing to stay on the outside. Flurry of punches and fists and chops. Dazed. Dazing. Santin. Sends him into the ropes. Elbow to the back, elbow to the back. Sends the move of the head slash in the canvas. Matt goes to the pin. Who came but he's too late. Matt Dickey scores his first decision by pinfall. Evens the score between him and Santin Fahrenheit. Hey, tosses Santin to the outside. Tucks Luke from behind. And what if Matt Dickey wins this match, ladies and gentlemen? Distinct possibility now. Santin and Matt both only need the one. More. Luke has yet to score a pinfall. And this is desperate measures and he gets smacked in the face with that chair. Santin is putting his hands and Santin pushes it into the corner. Leaving it there. Future violence. Matt on the outside, dazed and confused. This is the outside of the ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Santa Fan Hate with that uh, snap suplex. Punches. Left just laid into uh, Dark Lord's face. It's picked up in the uh, Fireman's Carry. And ducked in the top turn with him. He's able to break out. How on earth is Luke still standing for all of this? Santa, how is he able to see? Luke missed that uh, road line. Luke still maneuver again. Matt Dickey pulling out another table. Into this contest. Oh, just hit Santon on the head there. That breaks up that pinfall attempt. Both of the two men obviously don't want to loop. Getting any headway. But he's looking at his tombstone to Matt Dickey in the corner. Santon, what's he doing now? It's a big table. Matt able to kick out of that one. And Santin falls with just his body weight. Falls on Luke. The eight palm. In full attempt. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Santin Fallen Eight. Scores the second and final decision by Pinfall. Let's, just, let's look at these replays, ladies and gentlemen. There was some uh, violent amount of offense from all three of these men. In the end, one man managed to get two falls. That wasn't the uh, former champion, ladies and gentlemen. But it's to say, former champion who came into this match with the title around his waist violent people there first pinfall attempt success
successful one for Santin, but then Matt with this resilience. Luria fists and chucks in the elbows. At this point in the match, it was just too much for Santin. just wasn't quick enough. I thought at this point, Luke Maywell scores first fall. But Matt kicked out at the last second there. And this confusion with the table left Santin the time just to shift his weight, fall on top of the dartboard. Deliver the hate bomb on the back of the table. Here is your winner, Amir, MMW Unified, Champion, the man even the devil fears, Santin, Fair and Hate. And that's all we've got time for. Good fight. Good night. We'll see you next week, ladies and gentlemen. Wow.